Hi everybody, we're in Cook's Corner. It's the first day of summer. It's hot out there. You may consider a cold summer dinner tonight and Una Williams from Royal Temptations is here. You're talking panna cotta and goat cheese. This is I a know. combination that I'm not familiar with. Yeah, but it's your favorite things anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I may just yeah. eat while you talk. And yeah. You know, I made a cold everything for us because it's deadly out there. We can blame Kevin. Yes, this <laughs> is not cooked. You thought panna cotta meant cooked. No, it, yes. it's, it literally is goat's cheese that I melted a little bit in the microwave, half and half added, and then um, I have fresh parsley from my garden, fresh green onion from my garden, and you can see it's just on top there. Now, you see the chefs doing this with the knife, forget it. You either put it in a coffee jug and do that with your scissors. Stand back, I don't want to get you. <laughs> we know what these are like. I'll do it a bit more another time, but yep. that just chops it for you. Okay. And it's done, it's wonderful for doing any herbs that way. Then to set it, obviously, a bit of salt and pepper. Gelatin is how, this is how you buy it in the store like that. Yep. But you're only going to use half a teaspoon for this recipe. You don't need to use a whole envelope, so wind it down. Gelatin, as you know, looks like this fine sand stuff. Mm -hmm. and That's an unflavored gelatin, right? Unflavored. I get it commercially by the pound, so don't worry. And then when you mix it with water, that's what it looks like. It sets okay. to a, a rubber. And then I just nuke it in the microwave for about 10 seconds till it's clear, but it's going to be cloudy because it's not a white thing to start with. Stir it in. This one that you were, you can see folks how she was enjoying it, shush. <laughs> That's the standard ramekin. You can do it in custard cups. If you want to do smaller portions, do it in these little um, Dixie cups for, for the bathroom. Get us to the cold tomato salad four cold, at a time. Yes, no? that sliced tomatoes, same as the cooked beets. It's just a little bit of sugar, salt, pepper, lemon juice or wine vinegar, some olive oil. Then there's parsley and green onions from my garden. It's with lettuce from my garden. These are just some of the recipes I did in a vegetarian class last mm. month. Mm. And I'm not vegetarian, but, and you know, my summer classes are individual ones. I go into people's homes, do a cooking class, dinner party. This is real food. That's what gluten-free is, celiac disease, real food without the manufacturers messing around with it and only baking to change. And yes, I made a Samoa cheesecake over there. You know, Samoa oh cookies. Oh my gosh, it's I didn't even cheesecake. see the cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's That's okay. gluten-free as fight, well. Yeah, you can fight the guys for it. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that makes it differently gluten-free is it's bought gluten-free Oreos from Trader Joe's. The rest of it's naturally gluten free. People need to know real food is naturally gluten free. You know that. Real you eat real food. food. Look at all the yeah. colors on that plate. Yeah, and so healthy with all the colors and fresh beets done in the same sort of salad. Beautiful. And you know, think of it, you can put different herbs in, some basil, some lemon thyme, some dill. That would be fabulous with some shrimp. Mm, Guys would want a bit more food, we know that. And it comes in just a four ounce log in the supermarket, so you can use that and make twice this quantity or freeze the leftover goat's cheese so you're not wasting it. But in this Williams, weather, Royal Temptations on point. What a beautiful summer dinner. I think it's my menu tonight. Yes, we'll be right back. Thank you.